it's monthly favourites time again. I'm a little bit early this month actually because um, of scheduling and like when I want to put other videos. So this is probably going to be the first May favourites on YouTube for this year. But hey, that's cool because I've been having an amazing month. Honestly, I, I've just been so happy this month. I've had such a good time. I got away on a little holiday with Mike um, just for the weekend. We went to Portugal and had such a lovely time and then I got to meet loads of you guys this month as well at Beautycon. I've got more meetups this weekend and I'm just having a great month and I don't know why that is relevant to monthly favourites but I just thought I would tell you. So let's start with makeup, that's where I usually start. Why break a trend? The first thing I have discovered this month is from Bobbi Brown and it is her Long Wear Cream Eyeshadow Stick. I've never tried one of these before but OMG I'm obsessed with this. I have been wearing it probably like every other day, maybe like three or four days a week. Um, it's just so easy. It's a cream eyeshadow. This is in the colour Golden Bronze and it's just a twist up stick. Normally I don't really buy this kind of product or go for this kind of product but this one is just really really good. It has amazing staying power and it's just a beautiful colour. So what I've been doing with this is just putting it all over my eyelid and then using a big fluffy brush or even my finger if I don't have brushes, if I'm kind of on the go or in a hurry, and just blend it in and then I'll either leave it like that if I'm just day to day, pop a little bit of mascara on, a little bit of eyeliner maybe, or I use it as a base and then put eyeshadows on over the top and it works really well. It's got really, really good staying power and I love the colour and it's really handy as well because it's quite compact. The other eyeshadow that I have discovered towards the end of this month actually is from L'Oreal. And I just partly love the colour of this, but I also love the texture and formulation. It's one of their Colourish L'Ombre Pure Gel Infused Eyeshadows. And it is in the number, or the colour, Pin Up Pink. And it looks like this. It's kind of like wavy and it's got this pattern. And it is a really great base colour. It's nothing major. It's like obviously not a dramatic colour. It's a great everyday colour. It almost just adds a little bit of a glow. It's not even a really strong pigment. It's just a really pretty kind of peachy pinky glow. Then I have two lip gloss favourites. The first one is from Urban Decay. And this is one of their new... Uh, Revolution lip glosses. This one is Scandal. I love the formula of these. These are new to their line and they are just the perfect. They're like a liquid lipstick but they're not too heavy. I don't know. I, I just really really like the formula of these. I would definitely recommend checking them out next time you guys are around an Urban Decay counter. The packaging is also really cool. It kind of reminds me of like wood or something. It's really unique and bizarre and strange but lovely. Just really nice. And then my second lip gloss favourite is the L'Oreal. I still can't remember the name of these. The new lip glosses. I found out um, today they've actually replaced the Glam Shines with these. So if you guys liked the Glam Shine lip glosses then they are no more. They are now these ones. I feel like they're like the Mega Shine or something like that. And this is the number 110. I got the power. I put this in my kind of beauty news video um, for new products this month and said that I really like it but I've honestly been wearing this so much. It's the perfect everyday shade. If you guys can see there. Just literally a perfect nude your lips look better kind of pretty day-to-day -day shade. Moving on to face products. I don't have any foundation or concealers that I've changed this month. I am I've just been using stuff that I've mentioned before but I have been using my Clinique Chubby Stick Sculpting Contour and I'm not a huge fan of the Chubby Stick range in general. I know it's I feel like it's a kind of love-hate thing um, but I I've never really just thought they were that amazing. However, the contour one is really good. I've been using this loads this month. Again, I, I think I actually used this in my Get Ready With Me for the BAFTAs, as I did with the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow stick as well. So if you want to see these in action, then go and check this out. But this is just a really easy way to contour a little bit. I don't like really heavily contoured makeup. Um, I like to wear a bit of a lighter makeup look. I think it looks really beautiful for photos and stuff, but in real life, it means you have to like have a lot of makeup on your face in general so um, I don't tend to contour a lot but I just like a little bit um, with this. It's really easy, you just draw it on under your cheekbone there and then I do a little bit on my temple and then I just blend it with my finger. And the other piece of face makeup again was in my uh, new products video this month and this is the Gucci blusher in the shade Spicy Petal. And I have to say, these are really expensive. I think the blushes are around £35 or something like that. So they are very, very high-end. However, they're kind of in the same vein as Chanel and Dior and YSL um, and Tom Ford. But I honestly think the packaging of these is nicer than all of them. 
I think the attention to detail that they have gone into with the Gucci makeup is fantastic. The formulation as well is gorgeous. This colour is like a perfect everyday colour for me. It looks kind of boring, like I always tend to go for like the pinky blushes when I'm in a shop I'll be like, oh I like that one, but I have to like retrain my brain to think actually what is going to be a good colour on your face um, as opposed to neon pink blushes, sometimes not a good look. Um, so this is actually like a really good natural colour. Um, it's kind of like it has that terracotta -y kind of tint to it. I've used this a lot this month and the packaging is just gorgeous. For bath and body and hair, I've actually only got one thing I've really fallen in love with this month and that is from Caviar Repair X, which is the Alterna range. So it's Alterna's Caviar Repair X. Um, Retexturizing protein cream with strand building proteins. I picked this up when I was in LA a few weeks ago and I really like it. The brand is fairly expensive, but I feel like for this kind of product, it lasts a long time. This is basically a leave-in conditioner type product. So I have recently run out of my United 7 Seconds. I haven't bought any more yet. I will buy some more of that because I always do. It's just something that I always repurchase, but they only sell it in salons. I haven't been in yet. So um, I've been using this instead and it's so, so good. It really just leaves your hair feeling sleek and strong and smooth and it looks healthier. My hair goes through a lot because with dyeing and heat and stuff like that. So um, this is a really nice product and I've really been enjoying using it. I've noticed a difference in my hair when I'm using it. I think when I get my seven seconds back, I'm gonna use them both. This does do a good job of detangling as well. However, I think I'll use like a little bit less of this and then use um, my seven seconds like in the length. Not so much at the ends because this is what that's really good at is that kind of really smoothing the ends and stuff. Um, but yeah, just to detangle, I think the seven seconds is slightly better, but this is really good in terms of restructuring, as it says, retexturizing protein cream. It's like restructuring your kind of hair um, and how your hair feels. For clothing bits and pieces, I've got two favorites this month. And one of them is this necklace, which is looking kind of tangled, there we go. Um, I actually got this, uh, again, when I was in LA from J. Crew, And it wasn't um, one of their most expensive pieces of jewelry. J. Crew do amazing jewelry, but um, some of it's really expensive. This was one of the more affordable options. And it's like a four stranded layered necklace. And I just think it's really pretty and I've worn it so much this month and I've got so many compliments from wearing it. It has these four chains with like a little triangle, a little square. I love this one with the little discs hanging off it and then it has like a little long um, rectangular pendant at the bottom. It's just really cute and it means you don't have to think about like layering up necklaces. I love layering these kind of necklaces but when they're together it just makes it so much easier you don't have to think about it and surprisingly it doesn't get as tangled as you would think when I bought this I was like putting it in my bag when I was flying home I was like when I get off the plane this is just going to be a tangled mess but it's actually um not that bad it's getting tangly and I've been wearing it a lot like I said and then my other fashion-y favorite it's not really fashion because it's a hoodie is the hoodie that I'm wearing right now again I picked this up in a shop called William B when I was in America I don't know if you guys can see if you saw my whole video um, from then you'll have seen this but it's basically I'm gonna kind of stand on my chair a little bit but then I'm gonna be too high <laughs> it's basically a really thin lightweight but soft hoodie and I just really like the shape of it. It's kind of rounded at the bottom and it's quite long. So it's really cozy and it's really flattering as well to wear, just like with jeans. It has the front pockets, then it has the long strings. The sleeves like come long as well, which I really like. But it's just a really comfortable thing to wear and it doesn't look, um, it's not like super, super casual. Like you can wear it with like a leather jacket and jeans and kind of boots and stuff. And it's just a very, very comfortable everyday thing to wear. I have a book favorite this month, which for me is, it's not super rare, but it's fairly rare because I don't finish books that often unless I'm on holiday, but because I managed to get away um, for the weekend, I did finish a book and I felt very proud of myself. Um, so this actually isn't it. This is the second one in the series because as soon as I had finished it, I gave it to my mum. It was that good, but it is by Justin Cronin. And this is the second one, which is called The Twelve, but the first one is called The Passage and it is really really good I could not put it down it's huge it's like twice the size of this so it's basically about a virus and how the army are developing this virus which essentially turns people into vampires sounds really kind of slightly childish slash has been done before like the plot is very very similar to Resident Evil and um, the Resident Evil kind of game series and the Resident Evil film series but it's a little bit more 
kind of complex follows the story of how this virus kind of came to develop and then it jumps forward 90 years and you see what's happened afterwards. So I'm not going to say too much about it, but if you do like that kind of book, it is a little on the scarier side. Um, so if you tend to like not really like that kind of stuff, it's not a children's book as such. I would say it's, it's not like really inappropriate for kind of young teens and stuff. I definitely would have read this kind of book when I was kind of 13, 14, but it's not a children's book. It is like appropriate for adults as well. Um, so it's a little bit scarier than like The Hunger Games um, or Twilight or whatever. It's not that kind of vampire novel. <laughs> um, however, it is very good and I would definitely recommend it. And yes, you can get it on Amazon. And it's not new either. I think it came out, um, this one came out in 2012. So I think the original one was like 2007, 2008, something like that. So it's been out for a while. I just got recommended it. It's been on my list to read for ages. So I finally got around to it. I've been loving that. And then finally, I have a favorite tea this month. Um, this is a new discovery. And I think it's a new, it says limited edition, which makes me really sad now because I've just realized that they are gonna discontinue this and then I won't be able to drink it anymore. Um, it's from Twinings and it's the Velvety Vanilla Flavor Chai Latte. Now this is a really unusual type of tea. You can tell by the packaging, it's probably not a, oh, distinguished tea connoisseurs type tea. Um, however, I love chai latte, but there's a big difference between the chai tea that you get from loose leaf tea or a tea bag to the chai tea latte that you will get in like Starbucks. Basically, chai tea lattes they usually make with syrup, so they're not the best thing for you. Um, there's usually like a lot of sugar, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, like not that great ingredients in them. So this is kind of like halfway in between. It is a tea bag, um, but you do make it like a normal tea, but it kind of has that taste has that slightly syrupy flavor, it has extra things in it. So it has black tea, vanilla, spice, and syrup flavorings, which makes me think that that's what makes it taste more like chai. So it's like halfway in between the two. So if you really love chai latte, and quite like chai tea, but feel guilty about drinking chai lattes like 15 times a day, this is the answer. It's kind of like halfway in between. Anyway, I really like this, and I just found that in the supermarket a couple of weeks ago when I was shopping. That is it for my monthly favourites this month. Um, I hope you guys have had a lovely month. Like I said in the beginning, I've had the best month ever, so I hope you have too. I'll see you again on Friday with a new video, and I hope you all have a lovely week. See you soon, guys. Bye. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make three of my favorite recipes for a healthy lunch. Now, all of these are super delicious, whether you're cooking for yourself or for friends, and they're also all portable as well. So if you want to pack them up and take them to work or school, they work.